Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Roblox All-Star Tower Defense where today we'll be showcasing maxed out, max level 80, 5 star Minato. As you see, he starts off terrible. Look at his puny 15 range and attacks every 6 seconds. Should I have led with Minato? Absolutely not, I should have led with Frieza. But, Naruto map, an easier map, I should be fine with Minato. I don't know, I think Decelerates appear, and if they do I might be messed up, but... If they don't, I think I'll be fine. Minato's a little bit hard to get. You need two Minato's and then a ton of Naruto, you know, like Shinobi, whatever these guys are. I need a lot of these guys and other rare units from the Naruto stages, but Minato's probably one of the best six stars, from what I know of anyway. Because what Minato does is, right, he starts off really bad, but you're not really going to be using him when he's bad. You're going to be using him when you can upgrade him right away. His first animation is just him, basically, it, it's literally just the copy-paste of a five-star Naruto. Like, I kid you not, like, I don't remember Minato charging a Rasengan like this and then throwing it. That was Naruto's whole thing with his chocolate cloak, but since Minato is, yeah, he's his father, I guess technically he could do it. You know, he has teleportation Rasengan, Naruto doesn't have that. But for his first animation, he'll just do that. His second animation, I believe, he'll, like, put some hands across the ground. We'll see that shortly. His first upgrade is 450, cost 500 to place down. So, there we go. Increase that. As you see, my range increased by two, and my damage obviously went up, but next up is what's important, because I'll get this, and I'll also lower my second per attack, which is pretty good. 850, though, so Minto's a little bit pricey. Not as pricey as, like, Whitebeard or Blackbeard, though. Definitely not cost-efficient. I don't recommend putting Minato down as a starter unit. Like, I use my Frieza as my starter unit, because Frieza's goaded, and, you know, he costs, like, nothing. He's got really big range and really good damage, and obviously, I have him level 80. Minato here is also level 80, but I don't really use him a lot because what I do is I start off with Frieza and then I'll put a Blackbeard in front and I'll probably put like a five-star Blackbeard in the back just because I need that because decelerates exist and uh-oh This guy's getting fast. All right, kill him. Thank you All right, upgrade you again now his range increases by a lot and obviously lowers the attack per second And now his animation will be the hands across the ground. They all go up like this and they all explode Boop. Just like that. So I'll make our life a little bit easier because now I mean to be attacking faster, and now I don't think I have to worry about these guys that much. I have auto skip on because I always do, and obviously the fact that this stage isn't really a threat because I'm on like the Demon Slayer part or whatever. I also pre-record these videos in bulk, so if you're commenting something and I sh that I should have done or like something smarter, I probably didn't read it by now. The only All Star Tower Defense video I have out right now is my Whitebeard one. Uh, I have my Blackbeard one recorded, my Frieza one I just finished, and now I'm doing Minato 1000 for this upgrade, by the way. And now his range is increased by a lot, and he attacks every 4 seconds. But, you'll see the next upgrade lowers my attack again, meaning that Minato is a DPS unit. And also, he attacks fast! <laughs> DPS is damaged per second, he attacks fast. For me, DPS units are like 1 to 3 seconds. Basically, they attack one or every three seconds. Like Frieza, he attacks every seven seconds, not a DPS. Blackbeard, every like eight seconds, not a DPS. Whitebeard, every like seven seconds, not DPS. Stuff like that, right? He's got to have a very, very fast attack speed. Like, these guys aren't even getting past. This mini boss is probably the only one who's going to get past. Is he? Two? Nope, he's not. Mini boss is dead the moment he walks in. Watch this. Hands, go. Touch his bun. Pop. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's a little bit pricey, pricey, you know? But overall, I'd say he's good. Is he worth it? Definitely. Mean Toe, again, probably one of the better six stars. 1,600 for his next upgrade. I think this is the last one. Yes, it is. So, he has four upgrades. At level 80, he does 1,684.39 damage, attacks every three seconds, and has a range of 47. Very, very good. And as you see for his last animation, he'll throw his kunai, teleport to them, and use a Rasengan to hit them down. Basically what he did to the mass Man. Tried to recreate it in the thumbnail. I'm sure everyone's mad about the thumbnail, because, you know, I used the anime version of mass Man, because guess what? This may surprise you, but... Masked Man isn't in the game! Couldn't get a model of him if I wanted to. Asked my friend for help, he said he couldn't do it though. So yeah, I used the anime one that I spent some time making transparent. Does it look terrible? Yes. Does it look off? Yes. But, you know, it gets the job done. That's what people voted for. I asked everyone for help on my thumbnail on the Shoot Turner help server. They gave me their opinions and they said that was better. I made like two other thumbnails. One with Minato charging his Rasengan in the behind Kerma's cage. And then one behind Kerma's cage in like Idle Sans or something. So I made those two and people still wanted the Mask Man getting boxed up one. So that's the one I picked, but yeah, me and Toe attacking every three seconds, these guys aren't going to get far, we're just kind of boxing them up now, and now there isn't really else to say about me and Toe, 
Uh, I'm probably realizing that I should just like come to the end if we're not doing anything, but I try to talk about stuff, but I really just can't because what does it just say? We talked about his damage, talked about his attacks per second, talked about his range, talked about his upgrades, stuff like that, right? Yeah, it do be a tower defense game though. <laughs> it, it is anime. That's the only reason we play it. Like even with auto skip on, me and Toes, no pressure at all. Like check his range, they're barely getting in. And if they do, they just die immediately because Minto is a cone AoE. I think all of the six stars have some form of AoE now. Not sure though, since I don't have Rukia. Haven't like seen her, tested her or anything. My friend has Rukia, but he said that she's a mid tier, even though she does like 2,000 damage. Oh, actually, that makes me into the second most damage dealing uh, uh, six star in the game then, because Rukia out damages. She also freezes, which I guess apparently isn't good for some reason. I don't know. People are weird. <laughs> People in the all-star tower defense are like, it's got if the new if there's a new unit coming out, it's gotta be the new best unit, it's gotta be meta. Like when Blackbeard came out and he slowed, everyone was like, oh, this is game changing. Rukia comes out, she slows, and everyone's like, eh. Not as good as uh tower name here, right? <laughs> it stinks, but I'm sure people have commented, why don't you just place like more Minotos? And that would make it like go faster or something. I just like putting down one for their own showcase. Cause like, I mean <laughs> You're gonna have multiple Minotos realistically, like in a show or something. Like, oh, they, well, I guess he knows Shadow Clone Jutsu, so technically there could be multiple Minotos, but I just prefer placing down one of the character, talking about what they can do, and then we just sit and watch what they do. <laughs> but this is an old stage, not anything to worry about here, even if, like, a few. Actually, no. If one of them get through, we die because the tower defense games just. And I hate this so much. The tower defense games just give the thing you're defending like 2 HP. 344, how much is that gonna take? That's gonna take only like two of these guys. Getting EXP in this game stinks because it's every 10 waves in infinite mode and normal games only go up to 15 waves. So basically, by the time you get one EXP, which is most likely going to be an EXP one, you're already past the game standards along with the fact that infinite mode is constantly bombarding you with different types of enemies. It stinks. Minato, is he good for infinite? I don't think so, honestly. Like, there are, for infinite, there are specific characters you wanna bring. Like, if you're doing infinite, like, even for a low spender like me, I'm bringing Bulma. Uh, you wanna bring, like, Mihawk, uh, Light, uh, I heard Gojo's good, Blackbeard. For infinite, you need a very specific set of units. There's a mini boss. Are they gonna take one hit? Oh, they did! I'm so proud of you! Bye. <laughs> Oh, uh, the poor mini boss. He, he took one hit and thought he was the coolest kid in the world, and then just, then just got hit again because Minato, Minato attacked fast. <laughs> Even though he attacks fast and does a lot of damage, for infinite mode, people just don't use him. Like, the only reason I have Freeze is because Freeze is good for the early game in infinite mode, because, again, my friends are going to be the ones who are heavy spenders. Gogeta is good, but people probably don't even know who Gogeta, didn't even know Gogeta was in this game, because Gogeta was, like, a very specific, like, Christmas event, I think, where you summoned for a five-star present. But the thing is, it's a five-star present, and at the time, none of us knew what it was. <laughs> and then the other presents you got, which were, like, four-star presents, I got, like, uh, Haku and Grey. And those are, like, terrible. And then Gogeta, and then Gogeta's the five-star, and that's like, wow, oh my god. But then, <laughs> since it was such a specific way, okay, here's the boss. Since it was such a specific way, it didn't matter, because no one had Gogeta. I think they brought back the banner, because everyone was so angry. But, Kitamaru here is like 3,000, oh no, that's 5,100 HP, he's gonna take 5 hits, no, 4 hits. 1, and 2, and, oh yeah, 4 hits, I was right, 3, and 4. I'll just sell him there and let the boss go through and die to the defend, that'd be funny. Anyway, yeah, that's the mean to show, okay, so as always, I hope you all like the game, favorite game, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and as always, I'll see you all in the next video.